Hi guys, welcome back to Hasu and Deji. This is Asini. Today, I'm back with another math trick of the day. Square numbers. So I got inspired to do this video because of the great human computer, Sekuntla Baby. So I have two methods I want to show you today. The first method is only used for two digit numbers. And the second one is used for any digit numbers. So let's get started. First, let's take 74. And now, what is the square of 7? 49. And what's the square root of 4? 16. So, now let's multiply 7 times 4, 28. 28 times 2, 56. And let's add it onto this number. Let's skip the first digit and line it between these two numbers. So, 56. And let's add 6, 7, 4, 1, and 5. So, the square of 74 is 5,476. Let's take another example. 92 squared. Nine square is 81. And two square is four. So, there always has to be four digits. So, we'll have to put a zero. So, zero, four. Now, nine times two equals 18. 18 times two is 36. So, skip the first digit and line it between these middle digits. Now, add four, six, four, and eight. So our answer is 8,464. Now, I'll explain the second method for this number. What is the nearest value of 92? It's 90 and 100. Let's take the number that has the most zeros. 100 has the most zeros. So let's erase 90 and put 100 right here. So let's also erase this 100. And now, since we, like, let's figure out what's the difference between 100 and 92. Well, eight. So what's the difference between 92? Well, it's 8. So since we added 8, we'll have to subtract 8. So what is 92 minus 8? Well, 92 minus 8 is 84. So let me put parentheses. 84. Which number we'll add and subtract will be added as a square. So eight squared. So let's multiply 100 times 84, which is 8,400 plus eight squared is 64 and 8,464 is our answer. See how easy it is? Let's now do it with three digit. Now let's take the three digit number. 592 square. So let's round. What is the nearest value of 592? 600. Or 
590. Well, 600 has the most zeros. So, let's erase this and put 600 right here. Now I'll cancel these. And what's the difference between 600 and 592? 8. So, since we added 8 here, we'll subtract 8, which equals 584. 584. Then, since we added and subtracted 8, we'll do 8 squared. So, let's add 8 squared. 584 times 6 equal to 3,504. And we'll add this two zeros. Plus 8 squared equal to 64. So, let's add these. So our answer is three five zero four six four. Now let's do a five digit number. So let's take the five digit number. Ninety nine thousand nine hundred and ninety six square. So let's round. What is the nearest rounding value of this number? One, zero, 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 zero. So this is the nearest one. Let's put parentheses. And we added four. So we also have to subtract four, which is? Nine, 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 two. Now we'll add four square since we added and subtracted four. Now let's multiply these two numbers. It would be nine, 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 nine. Two zero 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 and zero and plus sixteen. So it would be nine 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 two zero 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 sixteen. So our answer is nine 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 two zero 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 one six so so you can do this method for any square digit numbers i hope you like this video and i hope that you learned something please like share and subscribe for more videos bye